There have been some great single player games released in 2022 so far, from Elden Ring to Horizon Forbidden West and even Dying Light 2 to name a few. Well, 2022 isn't over and there are still some fantastic games on their way. So let's discuss my top 10, well actually top 11, single player games still releasing in 2022. So without further ado, here we go. First up is Stray, releasing July 19th for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PC. I wanted to include this game on my list because it looked absolutely fantastic and fun. However, by the time I got this video done and completed, the game will have most likely already released by then. So I'm including it on the game still releasing in 2022 list just because I think it looks great. Stray is a third person cat adventure game set within a decaying cyber city. In Stray, you play as a cat that is lost, alone, and separated from its family. And you have to untangle an ancient mystery to escape a long forgotten cyber city to find your way home. You'll have to roam surroundings high and low, defend against unforeseen threats and solve the mysteries of this unwelcoming place that's inhabited by robots and dangerous creatures. You will play through the eyes of a stray cat to interact with your environment in different playful ways. You'll have to be stealthy, you'll have to be silly, and sometimes you'll have to be annoying as you uh, interact with the inhabitants of this strange location. Along the way, you will befriend a small flying drone known only as B12, and I don't mean the vitamin. With the help of your new companion, you have to try and find your way out of this cyber city. So I wanted to include that game on the list because I thought it looked fun. I'm looking forward to hopefully playing it, and uh, yeah, that will be something I'm looking forward to. So next up is Saints Row, releasing August 23rd for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Saints Row is the upcoming reboot to the action-adventure game series. Players will explore the world of Santo Eliso, participating in various chaos and crime. And the Saints Row series is looking to adapt to the times, trying to tone down some of the vulgarity of the previous games, but it's still looking to capture that magic the fans loved. However, whether this rebooted series will be able to capture that is yet to be seen. The Saints Row reboot will feature all new characters as well as your own custom character who will play the role of the boss of a gang that you put together. And one area that the developers are priding themselves in is that your character will have a variety of customization options that you can choose from. Other characters include Eli, who is quote, an MBA who came to Santo Aliso in order to make his fortune as an entrepreneur. There is also Kevin, who is a DJ, a people pleaser, and a thrill seeker. And finally, there's Nina, a mechanic with a passion for art looking to work on herself. As your gang grows, you will be competing with three other factions battling for control of the map. First up is the Los Panteros, who hang at the Scorpion Motors factory. They typically rely on melee and heavy weaponry. Next up are the Idols, who are a vanity-driven faction focused on partying and fame. And finally, there is the Martial Defense Industries, a private military organization with good weaponry and plenty of money at their disposal. San Aliso's setting is based on the American Southwest and is broken into nine different territories. So let's talk about a few. El Dorado is described as a mini Las Vegas. Monte Vista has fancy housing. The Rodeo District is the home of those who are rich and famous. And Ranchero Providencia is home to the Los Panteros. Players will be able to experience a variety of different experiences such as landmarks, dirt tracks, and more. For those looking for that classic Saints Row experience, this might not exactly be the game for you. However, it may provide something still very enjoyable and worth checking out. Next up is The Lord of the Rings Gollum, releasing September 1st for PlayStation, Xbox, PC, and Switch. Lord of the Rings Gollum is a story-driven action-adventure game. You're going to take on the perilous journey as Gollum, chasing the only thing that's precious to him, the One Ring. It is said that Gollum is going to be a canonical story in the world of Middle-earth. It will follow Gollum after he discovers the One Ring, but set before the events of the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. And as such, it's expected to fill in some story gaps that we do not know so much about. And the game won't only take place in Mordor, as we will actually travel to other locations in Middle-earth, such as Mirkwood, the land of the elves, where players will meet other characters from Lord of the Rings. However, some faces will be less than what you'd call friendly, such as King Thanduil, the father of Legolas, as well as the Nazgul. The gameplay in Gollum will feature a lot of parkour-based movements and abilities. Gollum has to use his ability to be stealthy, climbing platforms, and outmaneuvering his opponents all while trying to manage his stamina. There's also a focus on this inner battle between Gollum and Schmeagol. Part of the gameplay will actually focus on this inner battle between Gollum and Smeagol throughout the game. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, CEO Karsten Fichtelman said this, You already have that big conflict in the character, which means there's a good reason there are decisions to make in the game. 
the Smeagol decisions or the Gollum decision. As we've seen in some of the gameplay, these choices have mostly been presented as dialogue responses or different choices that reflect the different personalities that we see on screen. And during some of the gameplay footage, we have also seen some of the different locations that we will visit. While the levels are quite linear, you can use Gollum's abilities to choose different paths to use on the levels. It still feels like there's a lot that we have to learn about this game, so be sure and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Next up on our list is A Plague Tale Requiem, releasing October 18th for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, and PC. Requiem is the sequel to the critically acclaimed and award-winning A Plague Tale Innocence. Innocence followed the story of the Darun siblings Amicia and Hugo during the outbreak of a mysterious plague in medieval France which involves swarms of man-eating rats. After escaping their devastated homeland following the events of the first game, Amicia and Hugo travel far south to new regions and different vibrant cities, where they attempt to start a new life to help control Hugo's curse. However, when his powers reawaken, death and destruction return in the flood of devouring rats. After they're forced to flee once more, the siblings place their hopes in a prophesized island that may hold the key to saving Hugo. During the gameplay that has been shown, we can see that we will be exploring a new part of France, and as we can tell, Hugo himself may be playing the role of the antagonist throughout the story. And it'll be interesting to see the decisions that Amicia and Hugo have to make throughout the game. More recent gameplay has shown us that stealth-driven play may be important to survival. Players have the ability to highlight enemy movements, and a new crossbow is shown as well. So if you enjoy story-driven games, then this is definitely a series for you. With The Plague Tale Innocence getting many great reviews, I think it's safe to have high hopes for the sequel as well. Next up on our list is another really interesting game, and that is Scorn, releasing October 21st for Xbox Series S and X and PC. Scorn is an upcoming first-person survival horror game developed by Serbian studio Ebb Software. The game will place players in a disturbing world featuring creatures and locations inspired by Polish painter Bekczynski and Swiss artist H.R. Geiger. During the game's development, Ebb Software have gone through some development issues since the game's announcement all the way back in 2014. We don't know too much about the story of Scorn, but we do know that our character will be thrown into this nightmarish world and must transverse different areas to likely try and escape. The developers have stated that each location in the game will have a certain theme, stories, puzzles, and characters for players to explore and discover. And puzzles will play a large part in the gameplay and story of Scorn. Ebb Software had this to say about the game, quote, All the storytelling happens in game, with no cutscenes to distract you from the grisly reality of the living, breathing world you're in. But keep your eyes open, the game won't show you any sympathy if you miss something important on your uneasy travels. Everything has a reason and purpose, you just need to work out what it is. So for those who like challenging puzzles, this should be really something you might enjoy. During gameplay, you will be solving environmental puzzles like I've said, but you will also be fighting against freakish and frightening enemies, using weaponry that is truly unique looking. Scorn will not feature dialogue as the developers want the game's storytelling to be conveyed through the environment. While gunplay is an element to the game, the developers have clearly stated that this game is not a shooter. Gameplay will rather more heavily focus on those puzzles and the machinery in the game. And another great thing is that Scorn will be available on day one for those with Xbox Game Pass. So if you have it, there's no reason not to try it out. Not much needs to be said about this next game and that is God of War Ragnarok. Releasing November 9th for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Ragnarok is the sequel to the critically acclaimed God of War released in 2018. It follows Ragnarok, a series of events and catastrophes that ultimately lead to the end of the world according to Norse mythology. And it follows the ending to the 2018 God of War in which the events are set off. Together, father and son must face the impending Ragnarok. Facing the enemies that they made in God of War such as Freya, new ones like Thor, and all as Kratos wrestles with his son's rebellious streak and his knowledge of who Atreus really is. And to add to the excitement, the story will take place across all the Nine Realms. Within the game, Christopher Judge will return as Kratos, while Richard Schiff will join the cast as Odin, and Ryan Hurst from The Walking Dead will play Thor. Eric Williams has taken on the role of director for the sequel, and he's worked on the God of War series since 2004. One of the things that he explained was, quote, Last time, it was one kid with a lot of adults talking. This is like, well, there are some different perspectives. We're going to see it from a kid's perspective in the world figuring things out that they thought were black and white or maybe much grayer and a lot more family dynamics. Some new features for the game include Atreus's combat summons, making him a more capable hunter and fighter, new weapons and tools, new enemy types, a new grappling hook, a new love interest, and of course, Odin and Thor. 
and recently the story synopsis was just released, but we won't discuss that in this video, but it's there if you'd like to check it out. Are you looking forward to Ragnarok? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more in the future. Let's keep it going. Next up is the Callisto Protocol, releasing December 2nd for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. The Callisto Protocol is an upcoming story-driven survival horror game from the co-creator of the Dead Space series, Glenn Schofield. Players will fight to survive the horrors locked within the walls of the Black Iron Prison. The game takes place in the year 2320 on the Jupiter moon Callisto. You will take control of the main protagonist, Jacob Lee, as they discover terrifying creatures and conspiracies as they attempt to escape Black Iron Prison. During an interview with Games Radar, Schofield had this to say, quote, Mystery is part of the importance of a game like this. What's around the next corner? What's behind that door? I think it was a good mix of showing enough and then keeping some things like our mechanics and our characters and our story, a lot of the story still hidden away so that we can tell a little bit more as the game develops. We've got to leave some stuff up to the audience to figure out. The gameplay will be set in the third person perspective, and the game will also look to return Dead Space's HUD, meaning that your character's important function info will be displayed on their suit and weapon overlays. So for those looking to get their dead space fixed, this looks like a game that is perfect for you. Up next on our list is called Little Devil Inside, releasing winter 2022 for PlayStation and PC first, then on Xbox and Switch later on. Little Devil Inside is an upcoming indie action adventure featuring both single player and co-op gameplay. The game is being developed and published by Neostream Interactive, which received funding for the game via Kickstarter. While it does feature some co-op gameplay, the main design is single player, so I wanted to include it here on our list. The game is set in the 19th century Victorian era. In the game, the protagonist named Billy is a swordsman who is hired by Professors Vincent and Dr. Oliver to travel the world and record all of its, quote, phenomenal existence. The game is looking to take a more satirical approach on the monster hunting game genre. Billy will be traveling to a variety of different areas, from tropical areas to icy tundra, barren deserts, and even out into the middle of the ocean. The game will also feature third-person gameplay, including combat, survival, and exploration. You're also going to have a variety of weaponry at your disposal, such as your trusty sword and shield, a gun, a grappling hook, and explosives. You will also have a tent, cooking equipment, and other survival tools. And you're going to need to upgrade that gear along the way. There's also a main town hub where you can chat with different NPC characters as well as gather information to decide what you should bring with you on your next mission. It is said that the game will feature some sort of permadeath that kills your characters. However, you'll be able to take your new character to where you last died and collect the stuff that you might have lost. So it sounds like a really interesting idea for a game and since it's something a little bit different I wanted to include it here on my list as something you know I'm looking forward to. Next up on our list is Hogwarts Legacy, releasing Christmas 2022 for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And I have to say, this may be the game that I am most excited for on this list. Hogwarts Legacy is an open-world action RPG set in the Harry Potter universe created by Avalanche Software. While J.K. Rowling is not directly involved in the creation of the game, the Harry Potter world is the foundation for the game's story. You will experience Hogwarts in the 1800s, and your character will be a student who holds the key to an ancient secret that threatens to tear the wizarding world apart. In the game, you will receive a late letter to Hogwarts and begin the school of witchcraft and wizardry as a fifth year student, which is said to be very unusual. You will have a very unique ability to perceive and manipulate ancient powerful magic. At the beginning of the game, you'll be able to choose your Hogwarts house, choosing between one of the four famous houses. And your character's decisions to be good or evil play a role in the story. It'll be up to you to protect the secrets of this ancient magic or succumb to using the more sinister magic yourself. And it's said that the game will include some sense of morality where players will, quote, encounter missions and scenarios that will pose difficult choices and determine what they stand for. Within the overarching story of the game, there's a dangerous mystery that our player must discover and solve, as well as we must uncover the truth behind a goblin rebellion. In the game, you'll be able to create and customize your own character, including their body type, features, gender, and voice. And you can even customize things down to facial scars, birthmarks, freckles, eye colors, hairstyle, skin tone. There's so many different details that it looks like you can customize on your character, as well as outfits and accessories. In terms of combat, you will use a variety of spells including charms, jinxes, and curses when fighting. And combat's heavily focused on stunning enemies and using spell combos to take them down. If you want the full list of known spells and curses and want a little bit more of a description about each, be sure and click the video in the description down below, or hopefully I can place it here on the screen as well, to watch my video where I describe each different spell that we know about in Hogwarts Legacy. 
At Hogwarts, you also attend various classes, such as Defense Against the Dark Arts, Herbology, Charms, Potions, and Beast classes. And you'll also have different talents and abilities you can upgrade along the way. You'll also be able to explore Hogwarts and discover new and exciting secrets. You can visit your house common areas as well as the Room of Requirement. You will explore dungeons and secret areas as well as solve enchanting magical puzzles. And Hogwarts Legacy will take you beyond Hogwarts to new and familiar locations including the Forbidden Forest and Hogsmeade Village. In the game you'll also be able to see various beasts and creatures such as centaurs, hippogriffs, and fairy, dementors, graphorns, mooncalves, nifflers, trolls, giant spiders also known as acromantulas, dragons, and thestrals. As I said, this is one that I'm very excited about, so be sure and let me know what you're excited for as well. Next up on our list is Atomic Heart, releasing December 2022 for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Atomic Heart is a first-person action RPG game set in an alternate reality Soviet Russia, where a global system failure leads to a machine rebellion against the people, aka killer robots. You are Major P3, and your task is to eliminate the consequences of the incident and prevent the leakage of classified info that threatens to destroy the world. So no pressure. Atomic Heart's story has been created to be played solo, so I'm going to include it on this list, but it will also include some PvP and possibly co-op as well. The developers describe the story as being similar to an episode of Black Mirror, set in the Soviet Union between the 30s and the 60s. When speaking with IGN, the studio CEO said that the USSR still exists in this reality, but, quote, A technical revolution has already taken place. Robots, the internet, holograms have already been invented. All these innovations are submerged in the atmosphere of communism, confrontation with the imperialism of the West, and all the other inherent political and social aspects of the game. The game will take place across the Soviet Union in different areas of Plant 3826, in which players will experience many different biomes. Atomic Heart will feature a variety of weaponry and special abilities that you can use. The game says you can turn everything into a weapon, the environment, objects, your own body, and even the enemies themselves. And you'll need to try and hide and hack your way around, avoiding the hive mind neural network known as Collective. You will also be able to craft and create more than 30 different types of melee weapons and firearms to take on your enemies. So it seems like a very unique and interesting game and I'm looking forward to it. And the final game on our list is something a bit different and that is Open Roads, releasing sometime in 2022 for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Open Roads is an upcoming mystery thriller game which was initially announced during the 2020 Game Awards. The story-driven title features main characters Tess Devine and her mother Opal. They discover a cache of old notes and letters in their home. These letters include family secrets and the hint of a potential lost treasure. So the pair embark on a road trip to explore abandoned family properties, discover secrets, and develop their relationship more deeply. During the trailer, we see Tess and her mother Opal driving along a road as Tess discusses her family's strange history and begins looking at a mysterious diary written by her grandmother Helen. The book contains a newspaper clipping detailing a jewelry store robbery. There's also a key hidden inside the book. The game stars a couple well-known actors, Caitlin Dever, who previously acted in Uncharted 4, as well as Carrie Russell, who played in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. The game has a very unique art style, mixing comic book-like characters with realistic-looking backgrounds and settings, and the developers Fulbright won Game Informer's Best Graphics Award back in 2017 for their game Tacoma. So I wanted to include this game as something a bit different from the rest, something I'm looking forward to that might be a different experience for some of you all that like this type of game. So be sure and let me know down in the comments below. So that's going to be it for my list of the top 10 single player games still to be released in 2022. Be sure and let me know which games you're most excited to play the rest of this year. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure and subscribe for more future videos. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.